The State Department of Natural Resources is telling us that feral hogs now live in every South Carolina county. News 19's Tai Wong has details on what the experts suggest you should do if you see them. And they're a nuisance. You know, they're, they compete with our native wildlife. Again, they're an exotic species. Even though they've been here for several hundred years, they're not native. The Big Game Coordinator for the Department of Natural Resources, Charles Ruth, says South Carolinians are allowed to hunt wild hogs to control the growing population. Yeah, there is no closed season or bag limit on wild pigs. In other words, you can hunt them all year long. But DNR says that's not the best option to get rid of hogs. And Justin Looney, who is the CEO of Palmetto Wildlife, agrees. Um, running dogs and shooting at them, that's just really just deterring them. That's pushing them away and then they come back. Um, the only solution that I recommend from a professional standard is traffic um, and conditioning them, trapping them, targeting at least 75% of the sounder group is the only way to really notice the difference. Ludi's business captures the hogs, then euthanizes them because they can hurt natural wildlife habitats and can be otherwise destructive. Um, we lost 224 acres of corn to feral hogs. Um, they get in your fields, they root up. Um, the fields, they, they're just, they ruin pretty much anything they come into contact with. Rachel Sharp owns a farm in Allendale County. She says the hogs on her land are costing her money and she has to take matters into her own hands. We've tried a little bit of everything to get rid of these things. Um, what works best for us down there is we hunt them pretty hard. It's basically like taking money out of a farmer's wallet. You know, it's, it's something that definitely needs to be, um, on everybody's radar because I know it's not just happening in Allendale, it's in all, all of the counties in South Carolina. Experts say that hogs like to be near rivers and marshy land areas. If you choose to hunt them, the state requires that you have a hunting license. Tai Wong, News 19 WLTX.